This is your live look at the final iPhone 14 mock-up. So yeah, we have seen the CAD images, we know the schematics and dimension, we saw case images and now comes your final real life look at iPhone 14 metal mock-up courtesy unbox therapy. And yeah, the rear finish looks similar to the iPhone 13 which is same like 12 but the size of module is way large than 13 Pro Max and not to mention it now contains a 48 megapixel sensor. The volume keys and power key is slightly thicker and taller than before and yes there is still lightning port to the bottom. The huge change comes in the front facing 6.69 inch display which now has a hole plus pill shape selfie shooter and face ID. Now this is gonna look nicer on the Pro Max cause of large and tall display. So yes of course I'll buy this one the 14 Pro Max and I also pick the 14 Max which is gonna have a 6.7 inch display size, 60 hertz refresh rate, small notch, A15 bionic silicon and of course not so expensive price tag. Yes the A15 silicon is way powerful and power efficient than 8 gen 1 we have right now. So this device is an instant pick if you are looking for a performance centric device. Here for those who want max out 120Hz display and A16 CPU, the Pro Max is a perfect pick. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a breakthrough. Shocking news coming in from ming Ko, Apple has finally given up and thanks to EU they'll switch to USB-C next year. So yes, the iPhone 15 series will have USB-C port instead of lightning port. The iPhone 15 series is also gonna have an eye shape hole in all 4 models. So a small but huge changes in coming years. ming Ko says Apple is testing e-ink electronic paper display for folding device cover screen. He says it is gonna be a colorful e-ink panel so power saving and amazing experience at same time. Some news on iOS, the iOS 15.5 is now live with small changes like security patches, some changes in Apple Card interface, universal control for iPad, OS, automation and animation fix. Yeah, you can download this update right now. The iOS 16 developer beta launches on June 6 and Mark Gurman says the public beta of iOS 16 might launch in July. So yeah, iOS 16 is coming soon and I think we'll have lots of changes in terms of interface like maybe battery percentage in the status bar cause no more notch in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So yeah, they'll surely do some changes in the software to match the iPhone 14 design language. This all guys, so which iPhone are you picking this year? Your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.